Welcome. I hope you and your family are doing well. Our brain is the master computer to our body. The brain requires three times the amount of oxygen as compared to any other muscle within our body. The brain is also the most sensitive organ of our body when it comes to oxygen. And the neurons in our brain cannot survive more than four to six minutes without that oxygen. Although when we hear the word breathing, we immediately think of our lungs. But there's one very important thing about the brain. The lower brain stem, the medulla, that is the center of breathing that goes on within our body. That if there is damage to the upper cervical spine, any type of trauma or accident, and that will affect our respiration within our body. And therefore, we would not be able to breathe on our own. So my goal is to share some very important information on how we can get more oxygen to our brain. Although, when we have less oxygen, we may not be aware of it. And having low oxygen levels will cause symptoms like confusion, restlessness, headaches, shortness of breath, rapid breathing, dizziness, lightheadedness, and visual disturbances, to just mention a few. So to keep it very simple, the oxygen we breathe in goes into our lungs. It makes its way into the bloodstream and therefore it travels to all the parts of our body, including our brain. When oxygen gets into the cells, the cells release carbon dioxide. The blood takes carbon dioxide back to the lungs and we exhale that carbon dioxide back into the ear. What's beautiful is that there are certain foods that we can be eating within our diet that will help increase oxygen to our brain. Spinach and green leafy vegetables are filled with magnesium which helps dilate blood vessels and boosts the blood flow to the brain. Asparagus is energy for the brain. It has a very high source of folate. And studies show that people with lower levels of folate tend to be more likely to experience depression. Your oranges and citrus fruits, they are filled with flavonoids, rich color berries, particularly blueberries. They are extremely high in antioxidants and help protect the brain from oxidative stress and get your omega-3s. That will significantly reduce inflammation. You can get them from fatty fish, salmon, mackerel, tuna, herring, sardines, as well as nuts and seeds. Green tea is the king of antioxidants. It decreases free radicals and encourages healthy blood flow. There is nothing better than taking short walks. Taking short walks throughout the day is a tremendous asset and increasing blood supply to your brain. So if you're always sitting down, working at a desk or a computer, get up periodically and take a short walk. Start practicing more belly breathing. That means using your diaphragm, breathing in through your nose and out of your mouth. Just a few minutes of those long, deep breaths will help increase that oxygen to your brain. If you sleep on your back, you may want to try sleeping on your side. When we sleep on our backs, the weight of our bodies can press down on our airway or lungs, causing unnecessary obstructions. Side sleeping will help protect the airway from unwanted claps and will also help reduce snoring. And try to manage your stresses. Increased stress means increased cortisol and adrenaline, increased blood pressure, increased respiration, less oxygen, and more problems. Practice yoga, meditation, go for walks, Take care of your health. If you're drinking alcohol and having other sedatives before bed, this can result in higher rates of sleep apnea. This can over-relax the muscles in the back of the throat, making the airways collapse, limiting oxygen to the brain. And going back to my earlier days in biology, something that's so important. Remember, we get our oxygen from plants. Plants take in our carbon dioxide. So what does that mean? Start putting more plants in your house. That will bring more oxygen into the air that you're going to breathe in. And one of the most simplest things that you can do to help your brain function better and get more oxygen is to make sure that you're hydrated. Drink lots of water throughout the day. Your brain will love you for that. Ginkgo biloba can do wonders for the brain. It will vasodilate those arteries so more blood supply can get to the brain. 
This will help increase cognitive function. It improves memory. Those high nitrates found in beet juice will help widen those blood vessels and increase oxygen and blood flow to the brain. And lastly, probably one of the most important things is to start cutting back on those sugars. Enriched foods, processed foods, those foods that are sitting on the shelves, those hidden sugars, that is inflammatory. The key thing with our brain is to reduce that inflammation. By cutting back on sugars, that will allow your brain to get more oxygen and that will allow the neurons in your brain to keep you healthy so you can live a long and happy life. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.